I enjoyed the sounds of uh, Nirvana. <laughs> you are a tortured and demented soul. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh... I didn't notice anything was wrong. <laughs> There's a dude out there, a guy named Stu, who just came in, who has already put together a Kurt Cobain song parody. Uh, so, so I, I admire the fact that he got one <laughs> together so fast, so I said he could come in. I have not heard this it. This is a first. This is a first. The guy got it together last night, I guess. This is Stu? Hi, Hi Stu. Hi. Now, Stu, your last name is not Pitt, is it? No. No, okay. What is your last name? Caymans. Stu Caymans and yeah. Stu, uh, you seem like a young guy. How old are you? Twenty-six. Are you depressed over the death of uh, Kurt Cobain? Oh, very. I was holding a candlelight vigil in my bathroom. Were you night. really? Yeah, all night long. And uh, you say that uh, you. When did you get the song parody together? Well, I started writing it right after I heard about him. Second, you heard about it, you were inspired. You sat down. Boom. Well, no, I just I just came up with the, uh, the you know that song Heart Shaped Box. Yes, I do. And it goes way, way, and for some reason I just went way, way. I blew myself away. I way, see. Way. And then the whole thing unveiled itself to you. And, yeah, and it was almost it's like God like a, gave it to you. It was like it just came out of you. You had no idea where it came from. It was a complete from. lyric. You didn't really say, you know struggle uh, over it. It just came. Way, way, blew myself away. Just came to you, and it was divine inspiration. It's not like you, it was something you had to work for. It just came into your mind. Listen, I'm not saying it's genius, but I hadn't written anything in like two weeks. All right. Hey. It took the death of a rock star to get me writing. Well, so, yeah. at least something good came out exactly. of it. Exactly. All right. So you, you were basically a conduit for this song. It came through you, not of you. Exactly. Oh, all right. Now, you are also the author of other tragedy songs. Didn't you do a Ricky Nelson song way back in the 1970-something or other? Yeah, yeah, I did. You did, right? Yeah. Okay. It was, so called, was, it was uh, Why Couldn't My Sons Have Been on the Plane. I was, see. Yeah. I should be referring to the two Nelson <laughs> the brothers. Right. Nelson. That was a winner, too. <laughs> Went to a mountain party. I remember that. <laughs> right into the mountain. Okay, here we go. Uh, remember that song. It was a killer. It was a killer. All right, this is Stu. This is the first time we're meeting. It's not me singing. Oh, this is not you singing? No, it's not me singing. I wrote it. All right. Now, I you say Sting song on this? Sting, sting song on yeah. All right, okay. Along with Aaron Neville and the thing on his face. All right, here we go. Let me hear what you came up with. Yeah! yeah. They found me in the Seattle garage. A bullet in my brain was large. Two electricians found me there that way. The king of grunge is dead, they say, they say, they say, yeah, 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 yeah. With a shotgun, blew my brains out. <laughs> All right, listen, Stu, it's like, <laughs> nice job, Stu. Oh, uh, thank you. All right, now, Stu, what are you, a stand-up comic or something? Yeah. Are you really? You're trying to get your start or something? Uh, no, I'm actually working. Are you? Where, where can we yeah. see you? Uh, Boston Comedy Club and the Comic Strip. I almost opened for Jackie, actually. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's that's thrilling. He works with our old intern, Mitch. <laughs> Is that right? Very good, yeah, Stu. Well, yeah. well, thank uh, you so much for, right, the, uh, for the song, and uh, thanks for sharing it with us. All right. That is Stu Kamens, the comic, unveiling his new song. Wow. <laughs> Clocking in with a... Uh... <laughs> You know what it is, to a guy like Stu, who's trying so desperately to make a career, he doesn't understand the death of Kurt Cobain. He's a, here's a guy who had all the success that, that, that Stu dreams of. That he dreams of, yes. And then he kills himself. I've heard that a lot. He had everything. That's right. What key was that, Fred? <laughs> I'm just out of curiosity. X? X. <laughs> Courtney Love, she's a widow. No father to raise a kiddo. Oh. Raise the kiddo? Right, no father to raise the kiddo? Is that what he said? No. Nah, that couldn't have been. Yeah. I must have misheard that. That's genius. Cause I'm dead now. No one dead. She can marry any <laughs> Yeah! Super. Stern Show. 92.3 K-Rock.